Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching Enigma Inc. So I'm going to do Virgos for 15 to 22nd of June. Let's see what are the messages for you. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. This is going to be a general reading. So whatever resonates, take it. What does not, leave it. And for more accurate readings, you can reach out to me for personals on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. Details are given below. Even for the white prayer based spells, you can reach out to me. <clears throat> and that is completely white and spiritual methods of manifestation all right i also sell out uh, um energized crystals so if you want that you can reach out to me for the same as well and you can check out all the updates and feedbacks on my instagram so do follow me there and also for the daily horoscopes on my instagram and uh, last but not the least don't forget to subscribe and Hit like in the end of this video. Let's see what are the messages for you. Logos, please. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. Mm. The Hangman. The Emperor. Whoa. Logos. I feel like there's someone that is like deeply trying to connect with you okay this could be someone older or someone younger <clears throat> or they could be um thinking about a reconciliation okay this could be someone from the past as well that's like uh wanting to reach out to you okay this person has been stuck and not able to move on for some of you it's someone that you already know okay maybe a friend that wants to turn into a lover or this is a completely new person for whom you are so much special. And I feel like this is someone also that is extremely wealthy and has everything put in place. So they're stuck about something is not going on right in their life. Like they're stuck about something. We need to know why. So maybe they have children and they're married or they, are, they have an ex and they have children with them. And they have some responsibilities and there is a lot of work in their life. There is a lot of responsibilities. I feel like this person has a lot of money. It is because they're working hard for someone they really love deeply in their life. So I feel like they're stuck uh, in this energy towards you because they have other responsibilities. Maybe towards their parents or maybe towards their children. But there are responsibilities they have and they cannot think beyond that. And I feel like despite of wanting to you know create a life with you settle down with you there's something that's holding them back let's see what's holding this person back what was? they could be an aries again the emperor reverse and then we have the seven of um, <clears throat> swords and the Six of seven of wands. I feel like it's just a lot of hard work. They feel like it's a lot of hard work. And it is not going to be easy. And they're running away from responsibilities. Because they already have a lot going on. Or they're very, very busy. They want to reconcile. But they cannot reconcile. They cannot reach out to you. Because they're very busy with their work. Or they're more focused in their money. They're more focused in their you know career and i feel like they're obsessed with their career maybe they're extremely wealthy they have a lot of money but they're obsessed i feel like because of this they're being a workaholic and they want something more they want to kind of come back towards you but they're not making efforts because they know that when they reach out they have to answer your questions they have to answer you why they left they have to answer you why they cannot give that much time they have to answer you where were they so there are a lot of things that they feel like inside their mind that you know s scares this person off and uh, despite of wanting to make efforts to work this connection out they're afraid uh, okay they're not feeling very stable right now okay so i feel like this is someone that has a lot going on in their career front and i feel they're very happy with their money they are very happy with their finances position in their life but uh, when it comes to love life, they need a push from someone. They need someone to tell them that they should look out or they should start balancing their life. Okay. And I feel like there's nobody to guide them. There's nobody to tell them that it is very important to equally find love for yourself and be happy and be with someone, be in a partnership that's long term. That's true. 
so i feel like there's no one that is telling them despite of wanting them you know them wanting to be in a commitment with someone they're still stopping themselves because they feel like this is more important <clears throat> their work is more important the love is not important that is how they started to think you know i feel they think about you you you're on their mind you're you're you know in the back of their mind they always have you and they find somehow feel like somehow this Virgo reaches out to me and starts talking to me it would be nice you know that's how they've been thinking um again it is more about work it's more about their pentacles and three of pentacles is like this person may be working in partnership and there is a lot of drama going on in their <clears throat> workplace there's a lot of stuff that is going on um that they are handling and i feel this is giving them a lot of um, stress tension okay they are tensed because they might be running an empire or they might be owning something or they might be a manager or at a higher position where they have to guide you know uh, people under them maybe they are a teacher they are a professor and there are a lot of tasks that they have been handed over or they have taken over which has started to take away their sleep as well so i feel like they're right now struggling with their sleep as well and uh, on their money so that is why i feel like yeah virgos please they want you to reach out to them seriously i'm seeing that they've been thinking a lot about you when they're alone when they're on their bed when they're like looking at the wall a roof they're thinking a lot about this they're thinking a lot about you they're thinking about what if this happens what if that happened then they don't believe in it and then they leave it i feel like their energy towards you or towards love is extremely slow in your comparison so what they want is that you should rush in you should be more uh, you know uh, uh pushing towards the thing so that they can trust that this is happening okay so i feel like somewhere they want you to take in this into your stride okay they want you to take action more stronger action towards them let me know more about this what it is trying to say for us justice could be a libra that's coming in aries is coming in <clears throat> pisces and uh, then we have uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm also seeing Virgos right now. Um, let's just come towards you later on. Let's just focus on this person first. So what I'm seeing over here is that they want to keep their hand up. Maybe because they think that they it was a time when they tried a lot, when they made a lot of efforts, and you might, you maybe not or were not that interested in them, or you were taking it for granted. so maybe somewhere their ego is involved where they are not reaching out to you and uh, or you've been blocked or you blocked them and they want that things get unblocked and they could reach out to you i feel like they don't want to stress this because they feel like whenever they think about you they start stressing over things and they don't want that to happen because that's indirectly affecting their work affecting their lifestyle so i feel like they have the habit of going into you know self analysis or over analyzing things going into deep thoughts they don't want to get into that trap so i feel like because of that to avoid all of those things they are trying to keep a distance that is what i'm seeing this could be someone new completely new that is acting hard to get it is because of these reasons most probably this could be a virgo as well a libra as well but i feel like this person has a tendency to overthink now i need to know like what is going on with you virgos these days like what is happening with you 15 to 20 second what is happening <clears throat> two of wands five of swords the nine of pentacles virgos you don't want to destroy your mental peace because of this i feel like somewhere you feel this person is playing games and is trying to act smart and is fucking with your mind and is keeping you in confusion i feel like you're on a cross road where you are about to make a decision about leaving this person behind completely not giving a shit about them even though you have feelings you want to reach out or you want them to reach out but you're showing them a face that is you're not interested that that's something that you're showing them okay so here one message one advice uh 
during the reading is that be you be you okay be you be yourself if you're actually given up then it's fine if you haven't and you're showing them that you're not interested that's gonna backfire for Virgos here so what I'm seeing you over here is that you are not trusting this person because of their actions and that is fine because you should be happy okay that is the bottom line it doesn't matter if this person's busy or not busy is it keeping you happy no is it keeping you satisfied no fulfilled no so what's the point okay for doing something for someone else when you yourself are not satisfied and happy wherever you are so right now you're not uh, talking to this person despite of all of this you don't want to i feel like here virgo you have a great chance of uh, you know a stability in your career uh, if you just keep on working on your job okay i'm seeing a lot of appreciation and growth happening money is going to grow definitely it's gonna grow and i'm also seeing some of you might be thinking about uh, <clears throat> makeup or makeover or some kind of change in yourself that makes you happy and brings you back in positive vibes i'm also seeing nine of pentacles is like you are a uh, feeling attractive all of a sudden you want to buy new stuff or you want to learn a new language or you want to you know uh learn a course like personality development something like that i don't know for maybe that's a specific one but what i'm seeing is that you're feeling vibrant happy mood right now you just want to try out different things you just want to try maybe cuisines you're fond of food so I'm feeling like some sort of a spending money on yourself. That is what you're doing. I'm also seeing if you're looking for an opportunity in your career, go ahead because I'm seeing good future, good start as well. <clears throat> what else is coming in Virgo's life, in love, in career, in love, in career, in health? Health-wise, you're amazing. You're great in a self-love mode. Seven of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Wands, and then the Six of Swords. And then we have nine of cups and then we have the high priestess bottom of the deck is temperance we're gonna take this i'm gonna see like why do i have this um six of swords and high priestess and temperance over here in the meanwhile you're getting to meet someone new okay you might meet this person at a different place maybe they are going to ask you on a, on a date and you may go out on a night okay in a dinner date and uh, i'm seeing like there's someone that's gonna like try to sweep you off your feet this is someone you might be about to meet okay maybe through social media or your friends of friends i'm feeling like this person comes with a lot of peace and you know uh positivity stability Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, this person will be showing a lot of love towards you. I feel like there will be an instant attraction that you will feel towards them and they're going to give you a lot of love messages. They're going to send you a lot of compliments, love messages because they feel extremely attracted towards you. I'm also seeing you taking care of your own attractiveness. And if you want to buy this carnelian, that is for attracting love and that is for feeling more attractive and feminine. So this is very nice. You can buy it. So I energize it as well. So what I'm seeing over here is that you're feeling very attractive and a lot of self-love is here. Six of Swords and the Nine of Cups is telling me that you have started to come out of the past energy. I feel like something that has hurt you is still fresh in your heart, in your mind and you're still working on it and you're coming out of it. It's taking time while you're talking to new people, you've started to come out of the energy from the past. Somewhere I feel like the past still holds you, maybe they're still trying to contact you and uh, um you may have tried contacting this person from you know the other person but i feel like they kind of told you that i'm busy i don't want to talk to you right now and uh, this made this was your final you know call and you ended this from your side you're like i'm done i cannot sit and wait for this person because they've been pretty rude to me so i'd better go for a king of cups i'd better go for a lover so you're going towards you're trying to be happy with someone new and i feel like practice will lead you to become naturally happy are you getting it fake it till you make it so that is what you're doing with love and i'm feeling like with the nine of cups is definitely uh wishes coming into fruition um at one moment like at one step at a time you will be seeing yourself coming closer to wishes 
coming into fruition are you getting me so what i'm saying is that you're moving towards like new things wishes fulfilling and uh, i'm also seeing you're getting across coming across a lot of options during the you know passage of your you know encounter you know in um, what is that called engagement with these people with these new dates that's coming in your life you will be feeling more happy rather to date than settle down because the process is going to be extremely exciting and you'll also learn to explore about yourself you'll feel more confident and you'll know who to reject like who to trust who to not trust so i'm feeling like a lot of excitement happening i'm also seeing a, like dinner date something like that is also what is happening initially you won't like it but then you'll try to involve yourself into new new opportunities coming towards you someone who's a pisces or a sagittarius is coming towards you scorpio pisces cancer or an aries sagittarius leo baby uh Okay, why do I get this high priestess and the temperance here? Let me know more about this. Okay. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, King of Swords, Ooh, Ten of Swords, Four of Cups, Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Oh my gosh, this needs to be up. There will be some disappointments in love, to be honest. Okay, I feel like you might get into an an argument with this person. Initially, it's going to be beautiful, but later on, it'll turn into an argument with them. Wheel of Fortune, the Tower. I see you going into a big fight with this person or someone else. I feel like it is the the one that you're still waiting on, okay, that I'm telling you to move on from. There is a big fight that is going to happen in this week, okay, where you're going to actually turn them down by, you know, showing them, by giving them the taste of their own medicine, like whatever they did to you, you're going to speak out and confront this person and let them know that what they did was not right and i feel like this is going to make this person extremely angry and lead you towards this tower moment where there's going to be an ultimate closure happening between you and the person of your interest things are going to change i feel you guys initially were involved with each other getting attracted to each other but then something will happen that you guys both will get into a big fight and that's where the topic ends then that's where the relationship the connection ends and from there on there are new beginnings and there are options coming in i feel like from there on you'll have to practice you have to try to you know get yourself interested in the new options coming in this is what i'm seeing so the high priestess in temperance is telling me that because of this fight you're feeling low you're feeling sad but then you're still trying to come out of it with the options coming in front of you so it is it's interesting don't don't take it too seriously just just enjoy the process we are just beings on this planet living here um, bodies leave and the souls remain so don't take it too seriously the ace of cups and uh, the ace of wands and the ten of cups and the eight of wands i'm feeling you are getting more options coming towards you let me know more about these three cards i'm feeling there's someone that's going to be extremely attracted to you and it's going to ask you directly for marriage might put a ring on your finger and wants to take you out is deeply deeply attracted to you there's someone new that you will take time to get yourself into them you know, like interest take interest into them yeah there's someone new definitely and this is the one that leads you towards justice that leads you towards the right kind of a relationship and this person is someone that is looking for commitment loyalty and they could be your friend turning into a lover or someone that is a new person in your life completely new person coming with uh, an energy of you know um, truth like they want to be fair in this okay they're going to give you a lot and i feel 
only thing that they want from you is loyalty and commitment and this person is looking for that and i feel like they find that in you virgo taurus capricorn so there's a new beginning happening where you guys are completely committed with each other so this could be a libra person as well but what i'm seeing is that this the one that is coming towards you is quite wealthy okay or is quite grounded in their life they have a lot of a lot of things stable in their life and a lot of money as well but they like honesty this could be a lawyer as well or some sort of a business person business analyst or something like that but what i'm feeling is that this this connection is going to lead you towards marriage okay once you've had that fallout major fallout with the person of interest there is a closure happening trust me uh, virgos the one that you're waiting for or the one you're still confused about there's a closure happening after a big fight after that you will be taking a little bit of time to renew your energy and introduce or invite new person into your life some datings and then you reach out to this you know end up with this person that's that's what i'm seeing uh, a lot of options are coming in out of those I feel there's this one person that's actually going to tell you that I'm looking for commitment and I see that potential that I can be with you for a long term and I want to take this forward. So there's a definitely new beginning coming and it's not taking much time. Okay? It's going to happen very very fast and I see you might get engaged also in a month or so in marriage happening by October. So it depends. Now I see what is important for you Virgos right now is that let it go. Whatever doesn't want to stay in your life there's no point of holding on to that so you're doing that okay and i'm also seeing the options that are coming towards your life it is important for you to take interest in them because then eventually you'll land up to the one that is extremely committed and wanting to take it towards marriage and you'll be equally interested in them but i feel like this person will be highly highly attracted to you like there's like i could say they can sweep you off your feet like that's the energy that i'm getting Congratulations Virgo so I'm feeling like very soon you're going to be in a marriage or in a very very strong commitment like like the way you want it okay nothing shallow nothing superficial coffin so there's an ending happening and the lovers are telling me that there's a new person coming in could be a gemini could be a scorpio but I'm definitely seeing a new beginning after a big ending after a big fallout with this person this someone that is coming new into your life and I feel that the person is going to rock your world Virgo. Passion, a lot of passion between you guys. Love yourself first. So it is important that letting go is gonna make you feel more relaxed and easy on yourself and lighthearted. Once you're in that energy, there's someone new that is going to come and where you guys can get to know each other. your family problems and everything will get healed with time and i feel your family wants you to be happy wants you to be with someone that is your soulmate and others i'm also seeing family is involved in bringing you towards your soulmate so with the family and soulmate i feel like somewhere from your family background this person coming from or it is from your soul tribe okay they will feel like family to you because they'll be very concerned about not just you but your family and your background as well it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give yourself and then we have love yourself first so this is clearly um specifying that it is important that you let go of some man mirror who or what is triggering you okay so here uh, i feel virgos you guys are going to bring that negative side out during that fight you guys are going to be in like a tower moment is going to bring your you know side out i feel like you have a lot to say to this person but you are mirroring this person okay and because they are not talking to you you're not talking to them but you have a lot to say and ask them like why they are doing this so i feel like once this is going to get shattered like once i feel like 
you guys are going to be in face to face confrontation where you're going to tell this person exactly what they did was not right for you and after then only you're going to be releasing whatever was left for this person in your heart okay Don't let the pride get in your way. So whatever you want, it should be completely ego free. If you want something to be involved, you know, to involve love into it, to involve involve emotions into it, then it does have then it does not have any place for ego. So if there is any involvement of ego in love, it's gonna be disturbing and you're the one that's gonna be facing a lot of problems here. So what I'm seeing is that here just leaving ego behind if if someone is not actually you know making a move maybe you should if someone wants to say something and you know that this person wants you to reach out reach out at least once for all you'll get to know the real answers what you're looking for animals what do they want to say to you oh Virgos. this person could be a leo Flamingo, embrace the in-between. I'm feeling like you're stuck between two options, some of you 26. So whatever there is, like, face it, it's okay. Let it be. It's okay. If you're stuck, it's okay. If you cannot be right or you can't be wrong, it's okay. If certain things are not right with you, it's okay. If someone is not behaving honest, someone is not, uh, you know, showing you the clear sign, let it go. It's fine. Embrace it. Whatever is happening. Can't change it. I'm also seeing you're in a transition phase where you're going to be happy. But there is a phase during this time where you are healing yourself or you're coming out of the past. Okay. Success is definitely there. And it's asking you to have patience. Let us see the signs that are coming for you, Virgos. Sagittarius, Aries, and Aquarius. These are the most probable signs. Okay, I'm also seeing Leo here. There's a new opportunity with career here. Your person may have O in their name, T in their name. Okay. I'm also seeing some sort of an email coming in of love, love mail. Maybe this person's going to mail you their feelings. I don't know, something on those lines I'm seeing. Uh, a lot of work, but it makes you feel more grounded. The more work, more groundedness. Your person may have to know in their name or you are the one. Or this is a little specific, so don't, don't take it like too much. Told. Yes, there's going to be a closure happening. I feel like you guys are going to come face to face and, you know, you are going to confront this person and say a lot of things that will hurt their ego. But then this is going to help you release all the pressure and stress you're still holding on with, with yourself. Someone's na name is Donald. Tony. So, from Aries to Pisces, what does your person feel about you? In this week, what is happening between, for you? Aries to Pisces. Aries to Pisces. Aries to Pisces. Aries is uh, wanting to reach out to you for something solid, but they want to get to know you more. Taurus wants to work things out. They are afraid of the breakup. And the Gemini person is, I feel like they're going to let it loose and let you know that what bothers them. Cancer, Cancer wants to talk to you. They're not feeling happy about it. Then we have uh, Leo. Leo is coming towards you uh, for some sort of a helping hand. 
and they want to be there for you. I'm feeling like they want to say a lot to you. Virgo is in two minds, okay, and they have options here. So maybe this is you. And then we have Libra moving on. And then we have Scorpio might be juggling you with someone else. Sagittarius is... Um, I feel like the Sagittarius is trying to connect with you uh, energetically. Maybe you're not talking to them, so they might be doing some manifestation. And we have Capricorn. Capricorn wants stability, commitment in the long term. Aquarius is feeling stressed out, not, is not sleeping at night because of you, because of the dreams about you, thinking a lot about you. Pisces wants commitment, relationship, long term. Okay, that is what they're thinking. So that's it, Virgos. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell and comment down below. Let me know how this resonated. Tell and I will see you next time with more videos like this. Bye-bye.